What do you have in this magical bag, sir? I have something that's going to remind me of my childhood when my sister used to just eat sticks of butter. And my parents would tell her how unhealthy that is. And now at 50, that's what I do. Today, we're going to have the Great Butter Showdown. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we get something like this in our mind, you'll be alerted to I it. don't even know what to think about this. I feel like we are irresponsible. <laughs> we are so I can't even imagine the comments that we we're going to get down Even below. for keto people, <laughs> this seems reckless. Every once in a while, a non-keto person like scrolls across one of our chat videos <sighs> And they make comments about how unhealthy our eating is. They're going to hate today. So we came up with this idea. Like, we, we're we not butter snobs. We used to be butter snobs. We are butter snobs when it comes to certain things. Like, if you're making a really good dessert. Yeah. Or, like, if you just want to have, like, a nice tasting butter in your coffee. We tend to go towards the grass-fed butter. But when you're having something like keto chow or something, we kind of go with simple butter. Like if you just want to add a little bit of butter to your food, we go with regular butter. Well, and recently we did um, kind of like a taste test of almond milk. Right. Because, you know, we're thinking almond milk, it's got to all taste about the same. It's got to all froth about the same. And it and that was not the case. Yeah. And so we thought, well, what about butter? It's the same thing, right? It's all cream. It's all coming from cows. Will you know the difference between types of butter? Is there a butter that tastes better or, or worse? Okay. So this is going to be a little bit longer video. So we apologize for that because what we're going to do is we're going to cut off a small piece of each one of these. We're going to put them on a plate, we're going to number it, and then we're going to put a number on each one of these butters, and we're going to taste them and then decide which ones we like better. So do you have a marker? Let's go over them, yeah. and as we go over them, we'll put a number one. So the first one we got, and this one, I can't even believe we bought this for this. Fancy pants. It was expensive. It was, like, it 10, was bucks. like 10 bucks for this. This is Delamere Goat's Butter. So we've got that one. So I mean, we bought that one at Whole Foods. Definitely, I'm thinking that this one will be different because it's made out of goat. Yep. So, goat but milk. but can we pick? Is it better? That's the question. So we've got Vital Farms. You can usually buy this in most of your grocery stores. Pasture raised butter. We've got the traditional Kerrygold. Now, do you have high hopes for this? We always feel like this is the gold standard of butter. Yeah. Do you think this will be the best? I don't know. So we're gonna go with that one. But then you know. All they used to carry Kerrygold. Yeah. And they stopped carrying Kerrygold. And they started carrying this countryside creamery pure Irish butter made mm. with milk from grass fed cows. And it kind of looks. I think it's the same. I'm wondering if it's the same. And I am definitely curious to see. Like, we're going to do it with everything, but then we're also going to, once we do it, pull them out side by side and see, like, is there a difference? So, because here's the thing we did see it again for St. Patrick's Day. I did see them come back for. Uh, St. Patrick's Day, they had some Kerry Gold in Aldi, but we got some Nellie's free range butter. They make good eggs. And you had to go plain. We got some Wellesley Farm butter, which I believe this is Costco. Right. And we've got some Members Mark butter, which is Sam's Club. Which I always want to call Maker's Mark. Okay. And now we've had all of this butter sitting out on the counter for about two hours to get a nice soft room temperature rachel's been freaking but like hey butter find to sit on the counter for a couple of weeks we've got truly grass-fed butter imported from ireland natural creamy butter this was another fancy pants this one. one was not cheap and then we've got delita 
imported Italian butter, butter of Parma. Again, very expensive. And then just for giggles, we've got an unsalted Irish butter. Like, will, we we, never, will you even know the difference? We never usually buy unsalted. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. You've got them all numbered. We've got a lot of money in butter. We're going to pause the video. Mm -hmm. We're going to put a little piece of each one of these onto a plate, and then we're going to come back. And between the two of us, I figure we're about to eat 500 calories a piece in butter. So like protein to fat, like the rest of the day, like how high of a protein can our meat be? Yeah, pretty, pretty high. It's, it's like tuna fish and chicken breast, and that's it. I hope you guys appreciate this one. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, everybody. Why is the bear red? I guess that's Christmas. Why wouldn't it just be like a brown bear with green trees and white snow and that tells you winter? I've just been playing the shell game since we started. Just keep what, moving on. What are you doing? So I don't I don't want to know what which one's what. So I just keep playing the shell game with it. Now it's all just starting to look like butter. It all looks like butter. Like bad decision making. This whole video is a bad decision. Yep. Are you ready? Yes. Where are we going to start? Um, I'm going to store this one right here in front of us. Yeah, there you go. I was going to start over here, but yeah, let's start in the middle. Should we have notes or we're we just going to kind of put them down? Let's just put them down put in, them in order. order of, we'll put them over there yep. in order that we like, or we can put them up here in order that we like them. Good idea. We're trying 10 different butters. 10 different butters. Delicious. What's wrong with us? A lot of things. This is a lot of butter. I figure a we're- Dink it? Dink. I think that's the unsalted. It doesn't have any salt to it. It does doesn't it? have any salt to it. So I'm, I'm thinking that's unsalted. It's very rich, but I need my salt. It's very, very rich. I'm going to put it right there at the end. You're putting this at the end. Yep. Okay. Need some salt. Very creamy though. It's very creamy. It's, it's kind of plain tasting. It doesn't really have a huge salt taste. Salt makes a huge difference. Okay. How about we just keep moving things to the middle. This is, by the way, in no means scientific. No. And we are not doctors or nurses or health <laughs> we, professionals, and we do not recommend that you eat 10 different types no. of butter in a sitting. If we are your doctors, you're in trouble. Hmm. Salted. Hmm. That's interesting. That is good. That is good. Definitely, Definitely some salt ahead of that. Okay. Move them. We have no palate cleanser. I didn't bring a drink. No, me neither. We're, we're horrible at this. Wow. That is Salty good. Salty-er, which I like. I like the taste of that one better. So now, mm -hmm. so we got one, two, three so far. Yep. Okay. Let's go on this. Now this one. This one's yellow. This one has a more, or I want to say it's, it's heading toward orange. It's very, this one if and this one. If I had to guess. This is this the fancier is, one? Is, I have, if I had to guess. Kerrygold? This is Kerrygold. I remember Kerrygold being orange. Okay. Or like yellowish. Hmm. I like this one better. Me too. That's funny. This is good. It's good, but it's not as good as that. That one was really good. Okay. Let's get this other orange one, because this one could be... Here's the funny. Other than that last one, there's not a huge difference so far. No. Which is interesting, because if we get to the point where there's really not a big difference, and you got a $10 slab of butter, and you got a $2.49 thing of butter... That's good. I think that one is better than this one. It's got a little bit more mm. flavor to it. Not, you're not convinced though? You can have it in the middle. No, you can't put it in the middle. It's gotta be in order. Well, I mean, what you're saying is it's neck and well, neck. Well, we're gonna have to try it again. Well, you gotta go with one. What are you well, doing? I gotta go to try both. That. That one's. This one's better. So this is three. The one we just tried is now in third. Okay. No, you cannot have butter. You cannot have butter. Get down. And we're back.
Okay, that is like completely bland. Yeah, and we're has no flavor. On that it. doesn't even taste like butter. That tastes like some sort of soy product. I didn't think that That's we could last. do worse than the other There's one. There's no salt in that at all. Ew. I don't like that. Okay. So that's interesting because there's definitely a difference. You only got one that was unsalted. We only have one that's unsalted. But that doesn't taste great either. It's not as bad okay, as that now, last now, one. Yeah, but we, now we got to go back and taste them. So let's taste this one again. Uh, this is the last one. Now we're playing for who's worse. This is more flavorful than that. Okay, so this one's still the end. Wait, go back to this other flavorless one. Let's just keep eating more butter. Yeah, that one beats this one. Yeah, this one It's is, got a flavor. It's just not salted. I wonder if it's the goat. Because it has a flavor. That's kind of... It has a flavor. As a flavor that's kind of musky. Does that okay. make sense? So we... Wait, do you have your marker? <laughs> Give me your marker. So we're thinking this third one, Do we're we, going to guess. Yeah. Let's guess. I think that's the goat. So I think that's goat. What did you think this one is? Oh, don't hold it up. I feel like it's the unsalted. You think this is unsalted? Yeah. And this one, we just have no idea. I have no idea. Okay. So yeah, we're going to try to guess so far. All right. This one is pretty dark colored too, which I always- Yeah, where was that really orange one? It's interesting. That's this one. I, I think Oop, this is carry. Don't, don't hold it well, up. Well, they don't know the number. And oh, I, okay. And I'm not looking at the screen. Put a K on here. So you think it's Kerrygold? I think this is Kerrygold. It's funny because... Can we pick out Kerrygold? I don't want to... I don't want to tell this to food manufacturers. But if you have something that's kind of an orangey color, I equate that with better grade of butter. So if they were to add some sort of like colorants to the butter i would probably be fooled. do you know that some of the eggs that they're selling to you as these are healthier cage free like the cage free ones and the free range ones which free range just means they have access to outside as they are outside they feed them many times turmeric which is what makes the yolks orange wow so See, unless you're raising your own chickens you're not sure or you are buying true pasture raised eggs where they are they are out there eating the bugs maybe getting a little bit of grain like that's what we do with our chickens they're eating all the bugs and everything and then they also get some face some feed from us their yolks are orange but you could fool me because yeah they feed them turmeric and which make me colors think their yolks. that i'm getting something fancy mm. Mm. Hmm, that one is that good. That is good. I don't think it's as good as the first one. Let's taste the first one again. That's the gold standard. Yeah, that one's better. Hmm, but that's that is better. That this has got flavor central. Yeah, let's go back to number two. We got a number two events. This one that we're trying. Two's still better. This one goes to number three. I think. Yeah. I'm going to guess. Wait, let's taste this compared to this Kerrygold one. What do you think is Kerrygold? Now let's taste that other one again that we just tried. I like that one better. I bet you that one's the Aldi one. So that's what you're going to call it? I'm going to call that, put you an think, A on that back. You think it's Aldi? We got two left. All right. Uh-oh. I like Myself. This one? Okay. This one kind of looks like lard. Yeah, it does. It's got a very it, white. It's got a very weird white texture to it, and it's very hard. It's, oh my god! It's got a lot of salt, though. The, the difference that is, is delicious. But it's because it's salty. Try to wait a second and let the butter flavor versus the salt. Because you could get this and add salt, and I think you'd like it better. That's goat. This is goat. You think this is I goat? I think that's goat. So do you have a so I'm gonna, G? I'm going to say- a G. No, we have a G. I what, know. What was this? You think- That's Joe's goat. See, put G-O. This is Rachel's goat. Rachel's goat. Okay, so this was number one that you pulled back over. Yep. That is good. And I know, this has definitely got more salt, but- It's the salt. I mean, it does taste- But it's got a better flavor. The salt's bringing out the flavor. 
I'm putting that one. Okay. So one, two. Okay, it's one a, left. It's closer for me than it is for Joe. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, it's it, not the butter, it's the salt. I understand that, but it's still flavor. What? Do, which flavor do you want on your food? It's like a solid like, meh. Meh. In the middle. I'm going to put it after that Kerrygold one. Well, let me see this one. It's like in line with this. It's in line with that. So, All just right. put it right in there. Here we go. Are you ready? I am okay, so let's excited. Okay, let's start with worst to first. No, no, let's start with the worst first. Okay, worst first. So this is the one that we say is unsalted, unsalted and it's number 10. Okay. So let's, well, let's do this. Put them in order. Let's, let's pull them out. So number one was the goat butter. One, two, so is got Kerrygold was number two and Vital Farms, no. Kerrygold, Vital no, Farms is number two. two. Pull them back a little bit Kerry, so we can see them on the camera. Carrie Gold was three. Okay. Then we have four. number four. That, no. That one, the Aldi. Number four is the Aldi. Number five is the Nellie's. Uh huh. Six is Wellesley. Six which is, is, the, is, is Costco. Costco. Seven is going to be Walmart or a Sam's Club. Uh huh. Eight is this truly. Nine is the, the butter of Parma, and ten is unsalted. And what did we say this one is? Ten, ten. unsalted. So we guessed the ten. This is unsalted, and it is pure it Irish is, butter. It, and we did not. I mean, it was okay, but it's just got no. It's got no, no flavor. flavor. Oh, was, I just dropped it. Yeah. <laughs> That wasn't really worth the calorie. You know, you say like, is it worth the carbs? That was not worth the calorie. It wasn't. And it's not protein, so we got to count those. Number nine. Six. Six is... Wellesley Farm. Wellesley Farms. So that is oh, the Costco Wellesley. brand, which we buy a lot because it is cheap. Mm -hmm. But I'm sort of kind of okay with the fact that it's the cheap brand. I'm not expecting it to be the most delicious. Okay. You ready? All right. Number nine. Nine. We were saying this was goat. Joe said it was goat, but it was actually the Italian. Italian one. The Italian butter of Parma. And it was like $10 a brick. Yeah, it was expensive. So, and it was not one of our favorite. Definitely the, not worth the money. Not worth the money. Okay, so going nine. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Number seven is number two. two. Wow. Which is Vital Farms. I would think that that number would two. be really good. That is number two. Number two. I'm sure I'm shocked at this. Maybe they're just better at eggs. All right. So who gets sixth place? Sixth number place. Number seven. Goes to number seven, which is Sam's Club. Sam's Club brand. So. Okay, so if you're gonna buy, if you've got the big box store membership cards, you're probably gonna be better off to buy your you, butter at Sam's than at Costco. And this is what we're using for the most part in our uh, keto chow is number seven right because here. It's, because it's cheaper. Yeah. All right, so three, five. Number eight. Is, ooh. Truly. That this, was, this was about five or six dollars. Yeah, that was not cheap either. So, all right, we we keep learning that just because something costs a lot of money doesn't mean that it's the best. Yep. All right. Number four. Four is four, which is Aldi brand. Oh, okay. Yeah, Aldi brand. Aldi brand, number four. The Countryside this Creamery. The, wait, oh, wait a second. We missed this. We guessed that number eight was Kerrygold. So we rightly did it? No. No, we, we were wrong. We said that this was Kerrygold, which at least it wasn't Irish butter. Okay, so that was Joe's belief that it was Kerrygold. Yeah, yeah, we both said the same thing. Oh, yeah. We both yeah. said it was Kerrygold. It was the goat. And remember, this was like, we said it was kind of in line just right behind the Kerrygold. That's yeah. What we, so, yeah, number eight was that. So we properly guessed that number four is the, I guessed that it is the Aldi. Yeah. Yeah. So wait, no, you guessed that. I was... guess it's the Aldi, and that is the Aldi. But we haven't used Kerrygold yet. I know we haven't, but oh. we guessed that this was the was Aldi. Aldi. Brand. Now we're gonna leave that there because we're gonna do a back to back and see do we know the difference? Right. Okay. Next up is who's in third place, 
is number three, which is Kerrygold. Kerrygold. All right. Wow. Like, so we were close there. Like, they're very similar. Very similar in taste. All right. And then the second place winner goes to number five. Nellie's. Which is Nellie's. I'm very impressed with that. I'm impressed because Nellie's, again, is another one of those companies where they're labeling it as free range, not pasture raised. Yeah. So there's a difference between free range. So when you look at when you're going and buying your eggs, I know we're talking about butter, but when you're buying your eggs, Nellie's is kind of like our backup to our backup. We are always, we first of all, if we buy eggs, we I mean, we only get six out of the backyard. So when we buy our eggs, we are always looking for pasture raised. So we're like in Vital Farms or the Happy Egg Company. When nothing else is on sale, this is where we go. And at least with the butter, it's beaten Vital Farms yeah. and a lot of the other, it's beaten them all really so far. So and that's going to leave with number one was the goat. Goat's, goat's butter. And I'm going to say it is worth the money. Well, I mean, yeah, because it was very expensive. It was like $10, but it definitely has a very distinct taste that almost is like goat's cheese. So like if you like goat cheese, you may really like this because we like goat cheese, but not everybody does. I don't, I, I need another taste of that because I just don't think it's that distinctive other than you were saying it's very salty. It's very salty. It is very salty, but I think, think the butter itself has a nice taste. Think, think goat cheese. It doesn't taste like goat cheese to me. Yeah, it does. It's got, it's a cross between butter and cheese, period. But here's my thing. For the most part, I don't think that people are going to buy this. So I feel like the first place winner in traditional butter has to go to what is the first butter one? And that was the Nellie's. Yes. Now, here's what I'm going to say. This, to me, is absolutely worth what we paid for it. <laughs> but here's where I'm going to... You're not going to put this in your keto chow shake. No. You're not going to put this... I don't even know if I'm going to put this on my steak. Maybe on my steak. Yeah, on my steak. But where I'm going to use this is just like if I'm having some vegetables and I want a little bit of butter. Want to you really it. want that butter to shine through. Maybe you're making like a piece of keto toast using... Like, uh, you know, Mug one cake. of the different breads or something that we have recipes for. You want to have a little bit on there. Like some I, of the Crave Bakery bagels. You want to put this on there. I would put this on cauliflower rice. Yes. Because that, you really want to Where it's going to shine soak it through. Up. But as far as mixing it in, even as a bakery thing, it because of the cost, it's not worth it. You're going to use this when you just want to taste the butter. So but this Nellie's, I don't think I'm is impressed. highway robbery. I would, and it's the che it's cheaper. It's cheaper than most of them. I would definitely think that this is going to be that. Well, speaking of which, now let's have our show down here. All right. Okay. Is there a huge difference? So here's the Aldi. I mean, just make sure. So this is Kirkland, or Kirkland's, Kerrygold, and, and this, that is Aldi. So the Aldi is actually, so it's funny, the Aldi is actually yellower. Yeah, okay. this is whiter well, looking. Okay, so I'm going to take this one. You taste that one. It is definitely so similar. I really, I don't know if I could tell the difference. I really think I think they're the same. That these guys are the same. I think they're the same. I don't think there's a difference. Is there any difference anywhere as far as like no, not really no. for the like fat content. Okay, so this is twelve grams of fat versus eleven grams of fat on those butters. Let's yeah, but a minute, that's all rounded stuff. Yeah. I'm just trying to see if there's anything super that just jumps out I, i'm telling you these two are the same i am curious in this though so what is there a sodium content so these have 85 milligrams of sodium 140 That's milligrams that. of sodium and i feel like joe is getting snagged by the salt because I, we like salty things but it tastes but but taste it's, that's taste it comes down to taste if you if you wanted to take out the salt then you're gonna have to take the unsalted one and move it up to the top because why didn't yeah. we like it because it was unsalted but i will say i do think that it's distinctive it is i distinctive. think it's a distinctive I think taste it's awesome <laughs> but we like goat's milk so let us know down in the comment section not 
that we're ridiculous for doing this. Yeah. Let us know what is your favorite brand butter. Or do you ever make your own butter? You know, you can make your own butter if you have a Vitamix or even if you have an old-fashioned butter churner. We used to make those, that on like Pioneer Day at church. You know, you, you can like make it in a mason it. jar. Yeah, you take it in a mason jar and just keep shaking and shaking and shaking. It's fun for kids. Once in a while, I'll make our keto chow ice cream before I put the like, you know, ice in. I'll put the butter in there or I'll put the heavy cream in there. We'll put the keto chow and you run it and it turns into butter. It's, it's And then it gets a little too chunky. <laughs> I like it chunky. Let us know down in the comment section. Surprise. What is your favorite fan, uh, flavor of butter? Let us know if you've ever tried any of these. I'm curious if anybody else has tried this and if you think it is as awesome as I think. If you don't like it, that's fine. I will eat this entire thing. I think it's okay. I just think it's very distinctive in flavor. And I think that if somebody doesn't like goat's milk cheese, they probably will not like this. And I don't want anybody buying something Oh, and for we're $10. not recommending you buy any of them except for maybe not buying the insulted unless you really just don't want any salt. It's <laughs> not good. That's the end of this video. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right down there. Crazy shenanigans. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which we're gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we do something crazy, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.